Okay, finally got it all connected. Um, there's my battery bank. It's about 400 uh, amp hours there. And um, that's the uh, output uh, 240 from the inverter that's built in underneath. And it goes into the left hand side there, runs through that um, conduit to an RCBO and then back to the rest of the shed. And uh, as you can see the lights are all on, the radio's on. Um, let's have a look now and see what's going on here. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, we're 23.8 volts on the batteries. 117 watts is being used with the fluoros and the radio. Um, I can switch off the backup power there from the grid. Uh, it's still charging. Batteries are at 23.8. I'll just grab a grinder that I've got plugged in and we'll just see. So it's going to 23.4, 400 watts. The power's off. Switch it off. Three point eight again. So it looks like it's raining outside. You, know, you probably can't see it, but yeah, it's raining outside, and uh, the sun's not really bright. But I've got twelve hundred watts of solar panels up there, four three hundreds. Um, Twenty three point eight again. Looks like the battery's got seven amps drawn out of it. Five percent load. Yeah, so got another set of lights in the other shed. Switch them on and see what it does. Oh yeah, 228. No, sorry, that's 228 volts. Let's have a look. It's now using um, 11 amps on batteries and uh, 198 watts with five fluoros. I wonder if the grinder will still go off. see the grid power for the backups switched off I'll just switch that back on yeah, and that'll show up here as um, the 236 from the grid 229 coming out of the batteries hmm. I did notice with the load before that my um, 30 amp <coughs> fuse for the DC side of it out of the battery um, popped um, which then basically shut the system down so I might have to go a little bit higher than 30 amps I've got 30 amp fuse for the solar panels not really sure what the correct ones are to fit in there but uh, anyway do some more research and see if I can work it out. So there you go. That's my setup there. Could add another two more batteries, which would then give me a whole heap of uh, backup power. But um, I love the fact that it it uh, it 
um, when it's overloaded uh, it'll go to the grid. I'll, I'll give you a demonstration and I'll just plug in something that tripped it before. This one here. I'll switch that off. And if you watch this, I've programmed it so that it bypasses. There we go. If you look at that, that's gone into bypass mode, which is straight off the mains. Very, very little interruption. Uh, batteries keep charging though, but it reverts back to mains. And I suppose if you've got a fridge or something like that, it'll, um, you know, help out with that. But I'm not sure if it'll revert back to the batteries. Do a bit more research on the programming, maybe ask some questions of other people. But I do know that if I completely switch the grid off, the batteries take over again, as you can see, very quick. Oops, and there goes my fuse. So I didn't like that load, that big load I put on before. So now my system's down. And that's what you get if you um, switch the power back on. So let me just switch this load off. And I'll have to wait a minute for this fuse to uh, cool down. Let's double check it. That sounds better. There we go. Back to batteries. So yeah, my, there goes the lights. Yeah, they're all on, including the extra ones. So that 30 amp hour, 30 amp fuse, sorry, uh, needs to be a little bit bigger, I think. Anyway, I'll uh, pack up now and shut it down and do some other stuff.